Posse Vibes, Kim Folk, Chef Benno here, and it's time for another episode of Midnight Vegan. Za! Alright, so for tonight's episode, if you couldn't tell by our spread, we're going to be making some vegan lasagna. Squash, kale, zucchini, and peppered vegan lasagna to be exact, yo. I'm really excited about this, yo. And look at this, man. Look at the back side of this squash, yo. It's ridiculous, yeah. Hey, man, it's, it's going to be a real exciting adventure tonight. Um, we're definitely going to try some new things. I'm going to be using this, this vegan butter as well as these vegan Daya uh, mozzarella-style uh, shreds to go on top of it. We got our cherry tomatoes here. And we got some gluten-free uh, from Berea, some gluten-free lasagna noodles to go along with it. So, hey, I'm excited about it. I hope you are too, man. Let's get to cooking. Za. All right, since we got our spread all laid out to make our delicious butternut squash and zucchini lasagna, I think what I want to start with first is the squash. We're going to go ahead, slice it up, remove the seeds, bake it in the oven on 4, 475 for about 45 minutes or so, and then we'll move on to our cherry tomatoes, and then our zucchini, our kale, and then we got to make our, how do we say it again? Our bacamole sauce, right? So that's going to be our vegan cheese sauce that we're gonna make with some butter some flour and some and some magic all right so let's get cracking uh. all right step one we're gonna have our butternut squash slay and now you want to remove our seeds from our squash p.s i love y'all stay positive keep shining you just do you boo do you boo Seeds removed. Uh, FYI, a little fun fact, take those seeds, plant them in your garden, and you'll have a squash. Well, after some time and the growing is all correct, but, but yeah, 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 squash life. Now what we're gonna do is take some oil. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and paint them down with some grapeseed oil and some seasonings. I'm gonna do some salt, some pepper, some basil, um, and a little bit of cilantro, and maybe some Italian and herb seasoning go on top of it. That's gonna make it pop like we need it, za. Would you look at that? Don't they look good? We got our grapeseed oil on. We got our herbs and seasonings on there. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to put them on to some baking sheets with some foil. Um, I like putting them face down. Uh, otherwise, I found that they start to kind of cake and burn a little bit and all your herbs get lost. But you can also do them faced up. Um, we'll put them in the oven at 475. We'll cook them for about 40 minutes or until they're nice and soft. And at that point, we'll pull them out. After this, we're going to get started on our cherry tomatoes. Right, so while we wait for our butternut squash to get all baked up, we're going to make a cherry tomato sauce. Now, this step isn't necessary. You can go ahead and buy some tomato sauce or even I have some, some tomato paste, some organic uh, passata. But I like doing this because the flavor is just amazing. You know, using these delicious organic cherry tomatoes with some carrots, um, some garlic, some scallions, and some onions. Man, it's, it's just super fire. So if you have the time, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, just go ahead and vibe on your own tomato sauce, all right? All right, to make our cherry tomato sauce, what we're gonna do first is boom. Start with the garlic. We'll throw the garlic and the white onions into a pan with grapeseed oil until they start to get brown and caramelized. And then we'll add our green onions or otherwise known as scallions. After that, we'll add our chopped carrots in. Once those get all melted together, we'll add in our final ingredient, our cherry tomatoes. And we'll cook those up until the cherry tomatoes begin to break down and we'll add our seasonings, salt, pepper, some herbs like basil um, or whatever else you might want to add to it. And then once it gets caked after about 15 to 20 minutes, that's when we'll add our special seasoning of cinnamon and some fresh basil as well. And that will do it for our cherry tomato sauce. Za, all right, let's get to cooking. All right, got a little bit of grapeseed oil in our pan. What we're gonna do start first is with the, the garlic. So we'll throw the garlic in there and the white onions. You know, I just, I love the smell of garlic and onions. I don't know what human doesn't. It's so fire. So we'll let those, uh, let those brown up for a while before we add in our scallions and our carrots. All right, that's looking about how I want. Got it a little bit brown. I added some salt and pepper to it as well. Now let's go ahead and add these scallions in and let those get cooked up with it. 
for about another five minutes or so. Yeah. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the carrots too. It can't hurt. Throw the carrots in there. Might need to add a little bit more oil. Just so the pan don't get real stuck. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it looks cool. Look like Halloween, baby. All right. <laughs> Some jackness. What's this? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's see how we looking in here. Yay, yay. Ah, oh, that smells delicious. So how I can tell it's about ready to add the tomatoes is about how soft these carrots get. I want them soft enough where I can kind of mush them down, you know? So I'm thinking based upon the brownness of the, um, the onions and the, and the um, and the garlic, that this is about ready to add our tomatoes. I'm gonna let it go for a few more minutes. All right, in go our tomatoes. Now you can um, have these if you want to. I don't think that's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, but we'll just be, it'll, it'll cook quicker if you have them. Otherwise, just leave them in here. And we'll cook this down for about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how fast you want to cook it. What we're gonna do though, for that, we're going to take a little bit of olive oil. Spoop. Get your olive oil popping. Give that a sprinkle over these. Some chili pepper flakes. If you like it hot, add more. I'm just going to add a little bit though. Some of my Italian herb seasoning. A bit of dried basil to go with it. A couple of shakes of salt and pepper and then we'll put our lid on I got it on about medium heat and we'll let that cook now it's time to get our zucchini popping so what we're gonna do we're gonna chop these up throw them into our food processor just get it with a quick chop real quick and then we'll throw these into a pan saute, saute them up kind of like our meat so we'll add our 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 steak seasoning some some italian and herb seasoning as well um and then yeah we'll put this aside because that's going to go on the layers of our lasagna so let's see how it goes so, let's go ahead and throw them in and see what we got baby I think that's good. Yeah, that's gonna be plenty. All right, now we're gonna put some oil into a pan, throw this in, season it up, and put it to the side. Meanwhile, over in the cherry tomato world, on the peak, it's been about five minutes. Man. You can smell how good they are. See how a few of them starting to break down already that's a good sign bit so what I'm gonna do first I got a couple of these mini peppers now I'm gonna throw in on the eye in this pan first let those sizzle and cook up a bit and then we'll go ahead and throw our zucchini in as well a little bit of salt and pepper here that's gonna work just fine a little bit of herbs too all right with these peppers looking pretty good over here Getting them brown, pulling that flavor out. We're gonna go ahead and add our zucchini to it. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's add our seasonings too. Our steak seasoning. It's a little bit of salt and pepper blend. Some Bragg's herbs. Mm -hmm. Definite liquid smoke. A little bit of that. Got me some Cajun Creole. Yeah, some smoked paprika. A little bit more herbs. Now I won't cook this too long because I don't want it to, to lose all of its water and, and pretty much all of its nutrition. But we'll cook it to the point, um, I feel like the herbs have gotten in there. Nice and saturated, but oh, you know what? It smells delicious already, guys! Damn, our little squash is done. Big squash needs a little bit more time. How can I tell? It's soft. See how soft it is? Yeah, we kind of got it burnt on the edges, but that's okay. We're not going to be using that part. We're going to be using this part on the inside. So that's looking good. 
then over here, man, I gotta try some. Woo! Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this needs probably another 10 minutes or so. Now, if you wanted to at this point, you could mash these tomatoes down so the skins come down, but we're just gonna continue to let them cook all the way down, but man, it smells so good. All right, Sally only have <laughs> one, one pan top that size, so this is gonna help to cook in the open, but I'm gonna have another bite, because this is, y'all ready to see something amazing? Ah, sauce down, baby, sauce down. Now, for the secret ingredient, that's right, we're gonna add a couple of pinches of cinnamon, and also, yeah, some fresh basil. And we're going to throw that in the sauce, and then this sauce is all done, baby, as well as, mm-hmm, I believe our, our zucchini beef, the beef, <laughs> that's looking done, too. It's so fire. It's, it's just so delicious. So, with these two being done, we'll pull them off the eye. Next, what we're going to do is make our bacamol sauce, and as well, we're going to saute up our kale to go inside of the lasagna as well. All right, folks, one more step before we can put our all our ingredients together and turn it into lasagna. What I have here is some freshly washed kale. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute this up. I'm also gonna add some uh, red bell pepper, great source of vitamin C, some green bell pepper, and a few onions and spices to go along with it as well. So we're gonna saute that up. That's gonna be one of our layers of lasagna. And then we're gonna make our bacamole sauce, which is a mixture of vegan butter. Um, we're gonna be using gluten-free flour, going to be using a uh, rice milk as well a little bit of seasoning like nutmeg um, and we'll make that on the stove as well so almost there babies <laughs> and then you can throw it in and enjoy yo Za. so what we're going to do we started with some red onions in our pot um, we're going to add in our green and red bell peppers oops of course we'll add in a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper as well we'll let these brown up and then We'll throw in our kale. Meanwhile, let's get popping with our bacamole sauce. So, all right, so now for our bacamole sauce, we're gonna be using some vegan butter. So I'm gonna be using five tablespoons of vegan butter. We're gonna be using four cups of our rice milk. We're gonna be using a quarter cup of our gluten-free flour. We're gonna be using about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, um, a pinch of salt, as well as, um, minced garlic, about four or five cloves of garlic. So what we'll do is, we'll heat the butter up first, add the flour to the butter. In a separate pot, we'll have all the other ingredients, the milk, the nutmeg, the cloves. Um, and once those get heated up, we'll combine them and we'll stir. All right, and then after we've done that for about 10 minutes, we'll take it off, let it cool and thicken, and that will be our bacamole or our cheese sauce. At that point, it's time to lay out the lasagna. We got our five tablespoons of butter right here all melted down and we're going to add our quarter cup of flour to that and we'll mix that up our four cups of milk into our other pot over here we'll add our minced garlic to the back a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a little bit of salt and we'll make the back begin to boil once that starts to boil We'll add it over here to our butter and flour. Meanwhile, it looks like our peppers are done. So we'll add our kale in here. So our fresh kale. And we'll cover this and let this go. All right, we got our milk over there to our boil. Our butter right here, we're gonna add the butter over here to the milk. Ooh, our uh, saute kale looks fantastic. All right, let's do it. And this is our bacamole sauce. Looking cheesy on them. We'll let it cool for a little bit longer so it can thicken up. And then we're ready to lay out the trays of lasagna, baby. Alright, 
vibes, kid folk. We got all of our ingredients cooked and looking good. So now it's time to build our lasagna. Got my Pyrex dish, I've oiled it slightly. And what we're gonna do first is start with our, our Bacchanal sauce, our cheese sauce. So we'll do a layer of the cheese, followed by these noodles. These are oven ready, so you don't gotta boil them or nothing. Um, they're gluten-free, like I said before, so that's fire. We'll put those down, followed by our cherry tomato sauce, and then our spaghetti squash and kale. And then we'll repeat the process with another layer of cheese, another layer of noodles, another layer of sauce, and then this time we'll add our zucchini and peppers, followed up by some more cheese, one more layer of noodles, another layer of cheese and some slight sauce, and I got some big cherry tomatoes in there that I'm going to chop up and lay on top of that with some of our vegan Daya mozzarella cheese to put on top. And then yo, we should have it right there. Of course, you can lay it out however, you know, fits your fancy, but I think that's going to be real fire for our taste buds, yo. So, uh, after that, we have our oven. We're going to have it on 375. We're going to cook this with covered in foil for about 30 to 45 minutes, and then, um, then it's bon appetit, you know? You came on job, hey, you know? We're going we gonna to be eating, you dig? All right, yo, let's get to it. Of it she goes. All right, while that multi layer extra dimensional being is melting away in the oven, <laughs> uh, let's work on our sides. Um, so I was thinking to stay with the theme of Italian, I'll make an arugula salad. And then for another side, I kind of want to do a flip on a cannoli. You know, I'm not going to roll up and do anything like that, but um, I can make some polenta biscuits with these cacao bits and maybe a little bit of a mandarin orange to kind of give a citrus flavor, a nice pop to finish off this entire meal when we're done. What y'all think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try it, yo. All right, let's get to it. All right, to make our little cannoli biscuit, <laughs> we're going to be using the same old flour, the uh, gluten-free flour. I'm going to lose a little bit of a polenta, corn grits, baking soda, baking powder, a little bit of coconut flour, and these plant-based cacaos. Um, oh, and some coconut sugar as well, and a little bit of pure vanilla. We'll mix it all up in our bowl right here, um, and throw it into the oven as well. I didn't see, I didn't have any more mandarin, so it's just gonna have to be cacao for now. Cacao and lemon. Um, I think I might flip it to something a little bit different come the weekend if I can find some oranges or other other fruit I can add to it to make it really, really tasty. All right, let's, let's go ahead and mix it up. So boom. We got our cornmeal, flour, sugar, baking powder, powder, and baking soda all in here. And we'll do a nice dry mix as we run this together. Um, and then we're gonna add some grapeseed oil, um, some of our coconut milk, our pure vanilla. Mm -hmm. Nice, I found some raspberries I had, yeah. So raspberry, lemon, cacao, cannoli. <laughs> Uh, sure, sure, you know what I'm saying? It's Italian, maybe a little more Sicilian. Yeah, you better stop it now. <laughs> but yeah, man, that looks good right there. Mmm, smells good too. All right, we're going to go ahead a uh, few more minutes before that lasagna should be done. So then we'll go ahead and throw this into our, our little muffin tray. Cook that up and get that arugula salad all ready for us. All right. Fresh out the oven. Let's see what she's talking about. Oh my word. Ooh. Look at them layers. Ugh. Yes. All right. Well, here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Peep the layers of deliciousness. Yes. So, <clears throat> what we have here is our butternut squash and zucchini lasagna with the layers, with the layers. Check out the wheels! <laughs> with a side of arugula and black plum salad and our raspberry and cacao chocolate muffin drizzled in honey. Zayo. 
I can't wait to dig in. Posy Vibes, Ken Folk. Hey, thanks for tuning in, yo. Ah, I'm so excited about this. This is my first time making this lasagna. It looks super fire. It turned out so well, man. I'm about to dig in. Um, peep game. If you're trying to order some food this weekend and you're living in Denver, Colorado, you can order from my Instagram at the Midnight Vegan or at Zoid Ham. And this week I'm gonna be putting it up on my website. That's Zoid Art House. House spelled like H A U S dot com. And you'll see it right under order vegan food. Zai, yo, excuse me while I go in, yeah? Let me just, oh, the way it just cuts. Nah, oh, yeah, man. Y'all gonna love me. Y'all gonna love me. Bruh. Bye.